Hello, everybody. My name is Timo Dresmann. I'm the global product manager for the new interface of the VTSA FCB with safety functionality. And today I want to show you how easy it is to configure uh, the device in the TIA portal. First, you must be um, sure that you have downloaded the latest GSTML file from our homepage. So the latest version is uh, 2.34 and uh, you can uh, download it from the support portal. You also find some additional information in SPIMS Plus. So um, I already create a little uh, project here. I use an uh, 1200 safety PLC from Siemens. And uh, now I uh, start to configure the um, CPX VTSA FCB. You find it on the other field devices uh, under the um, valve, then CPX terminals, and then uh, you use the uh, um, revision uh, connected to the uh, Profinet system, and then start the configuration of the um, terminal. So, as you know, you need uh, the um, field bus uh, information, then uh, the uh, modules you have in your configuration. In my example, it's an eight digital input and two uh, safety output uh, input modules. And then the new part is coming. You find now the entry VTS A F C B. And then you have all the new um, um, valves and interfaces here. And uh, when you make the configuration, you can, for example, use the um, FMT tool to get the information when the um, device is already um, power supplied. And then you can easily uh, upload the configuration in your system and take a look how it looks like. So an, um, um, an uh, export here to the Siemens CFG file is not possible anymore in the uh, tier portal. That was just possible in the step 7 5.5 with the tier portal. This functionality is not uh, supported from Siemens anymore. So that is a way uh, how you can uh, take a look on your configuration. You see my bus node, my digital input, the two, uh, two safety inputs. And now you see uh, first the special of our new uh, safety interface for the VTSA FCB. Uh, we integrate the existing FVDO, the safety output module, into the interface. When you take a look on the uh, terminal, you see it as one module, but in real, that's two. That's also be shown here in the uh, list of the modules from our internal communication system. And because of that, you find the um, safety output module and the interface at two different modules. So sometimes it's a little bit confusing, but um, the, the, um, um, they show it a little bit on the GSTML file because as you see here now it's marked yellow. And then you see uh, when you um, pull it into the configuration here, it marked yellow. And uh, so there is the um, safety configuration to do. Um, we also uh, check the safety addresses. It's, uh, uh, sometimes people forget it. Here it's uh, for the safety module 4, 5, and uh, 6 for the interface. And be sure that you um, configure the um, right safety destination address. So it was 6, and then uh, 5, and then 4. So that's the safety uh, issue at the first step. And then uh, we go to the configuration of the terminal. Now you see we start with the um, 
soft start uh, valve with a separated voltage zone so that the 1q cb1 1q cb1 here it is yeah, just uh, put it into the configuration of the device now you see we have here um, a blank uh, field so that is for the you find it here the uh, sub modules the valve diagnostic um, when you use this it uh, opens a new um, address range for inputs and there you can get a feedback of failure like short circuit communication lost under voltage and so on so the same you see in the profinet um, messaging system of errors you also get here uh, as uh, single bits and can use it directly in your program if you want so you can choose it or you can also uh, you can also leave it blank so it doesn't matter it don't have anything uh, influence on the um, functionality okay that was the safe uh, the the soft start valve then we have the um, pilot air valve the 12 hst5 the 12 hst5 then the new uh, pneumatic extension powered by separate voltage zone so that means this is an interface more or less an interface with again a uh, new uh, dress range for 24 coils and to open a new uh, safety uh, zone so you see you have here your 24 um, addresses and then you have again the um, pilot air for this safety zone so that was the 2HST5 and last but not least it was a vacuum uh, generator uh, we have here two different uh, you can use data set mode or plc mode with the data set mode you can make the configuration via via the uh, fmt tool and then you can uh, put all these parameters into the um, vacuum um, ejector uh, the Datas are, are um, stored on the um, vacuum generator um, itself. You just use uh, in the PLC uh, what data set you want to use. So, for example, you have here data set 0, then you have data set 1, 2, 3. So, uh, that is the thing you do with the PLC. Or you can use uh, PLC mode then you make this configurations and parameterizations completely in the plc so that is some some um uh, the way how you how you like it um so some customer like to use uh, it with the configuration of the vacuum ejector with the tool and the others uh, like uh, the uh, parameterization in the plc directly so that's all yeah now i can uh, generate my small configuration at the first time it takes a little bit now it's finished yeah so don't forget uh, at the first time to take a look on the device name Mm -hmm. that it's be uh, correct because sometimes when you start a new configuration make it new um, there's nothing in or the other way uh, in so just check it it's everything fine and then uh, you can download the um, configuration to the plc so takes short time yeah, because okay finished yes i want to start all again so my plc now the plc is running the configuration is finished there's just the, uh, additional information i like uh, to give you um, if you go online 
um, don't be wondering um, is that there is an uh, under voltage in the system. Yeah, you have here a failure. So if you go to the FMT tool, for example, you also see here every time under voltage. The reason is uh, because the um, safety zones are not switched. So the devices have no power and then they uh, give the information, okay, I'm under voltage. If you um, 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 switch the... Um, blocks i can uh, shortly do this with a little program <clears throat> so if you so what Here the address range is uh, of safety 17. So my three uh, channels, so channel zero, one, and two are starting by 17.0. The next uh, safety output channel is 17.1 and then 17.2. So, Oops. Okay, here we are. I just make a short program to show you. <clears throat> So, compile it again, download it again. So when I now go online, you see now all the um, three zones are switched. And when you now go to the uh, FMT tool, you see everything is fine. Yeah. You have no failure anymore in the system. So it's really because uh, at the end of voltage, the system uh, shows up an um, error, but that's normal. That has to be uh, uh, like this. And yeah, so don't be afraid. Just check it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any question, uh, just uh, ask or take a look in our support portal. Thanks for watching. I uh, wish you um, very nice work with our new uh, terminal. And thanks a lot again for watching. Goodbye.